Hey, what up, sis? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, okay? So, I'm doing a mask right now, all right? And um, while well, I have already, well, I'm, I'm drinking one of my Smirnoff. Smir they, Smirnoff needs to be paying me for plugging their uh, wine coolers, but these are so good. I love this one. Tonight, I'm drinking on peach and mango. Junebug is the only one still up. He's right there. Getting on my nerve. Mom, um, mm -hmm. like this. That's my mask. I'm cleaning my face. I'm doing a Shea Moisture Clarifying Mud Mask. Okay, and I got this from Walmart. I think for five bucks. And it says for blemish prone skin. It's about time you all see this vlog tomorrow. It will not be Mother's Day anymore. So happy Mother's Day, sis. I know y'all can't really take me serious right now with this mask on, but work with me because I got like three more minutes before I have to take it off, okay? I hope everyone's Mother's Day was everything that you wished it would be. My Mother's Day, I'm so upset, you all. All right, today I have shed a lot of tears. I have cried a lot of tears. <laughs> And I'm just like upset, all right? Let me tell you why. I asked for one thing this year. I didn't ask for money. I didn't ask for flowers. I didn't ask for diamonds and I didn't ask for jewels. I asked for peace. I asked for, I just asked to be able to relax. That's what I asked for. And I knew it was a long shot because, you know, with eight kids in the house, how sane, quiet, and relaxing is the house ever going to be? Like, really. But I put that job on hubby because I felt like if it was me, you know what I mean, and it was Father's Day, which Father's Day is coming up, I would totally, totally be like kids let's make sure you know dad has a good day let's make sure that everything's tidied around the house let's make sure he gets his breakfast or whatever and let's make sure we you know we buy him a little gift or make him a little card and then you know maybe we'll send him off to do something fun or whatever you know what I mean what whatever maybe we'll buy him a nice gift and then maybe you know he'll go with the boys for a little bit I don't know just something to where he gets a break and feels appreciated for all of the hard work that he does and that's kind of what I expected but I didn't expect to have to I mean that's what I expected is it what I got fuck no um I'm so upset with my husband right now and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna post this yet or not because I don't need trolls getting on my comments and tr talking about my relationship and trying to make it seem like um, it's falling apart or this is to be expected just because I have eight kids or whatever I, I don't know y'all know how the haters are you know I feel like a lot of women in America <laughs> okay anybody who celebrates Mother's Day you know what I mean and that's part of the problem with Mother's Day you know, and blame society, I guess, you know what I mean? You have this expectation to be able to relax or be treated like up, put on a pedestal for Mother's Day. And then when that doesn't happen, it's really disappointing, you know what I mean? And I can get that, I understand that. And I feel the same way, like it's disappointing when it doesn't happen. I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad. But I'm gonna wash this shit off my face first so we can talk for real, okay? So hold on a second. So we're back. I have washed off my uh, mask. By the way, it's late. It's not late. Shh, shh. It is 9.12 p.m. Okay, my screen is shattered, so excuse it. But yes, 9.12 p.m. And listen to where I'm going here, okay? I'm, I'm, I have a purpose with this message, all right? All right, so number one, let me just get this out here. If you are one of those types of females that thinks that your man can never do wrong or that you never get mad at him or you never just have a moment of like fuck that nigga this is not going to be the vlog for you okay you're going to look at me and think that i'm some type of crazy bitch or whatever this is not the vlog for you you can go ahead and click off now okay if you're going to have something to say to me 
as far as judging me as long as you watching the video continue to judge okay i don't give a fuck because I'm still going to be me at the end of the day. What I got to say is grown folks business. So if you need to mute, plug in some headphones, uh, turn on the subtitles, or let the kids exit this room, you need to go ahead and do that right now. Y'all ready? Here we go. For Mother's Day, I asked for not a lot. I just asked for peace relaxation a day where i don't have to run and kiss every boo-boo a day where i don't have to cook every meal a day where i don't have to clean every mess you know what i'm saying is that too much to ask no ladies the answer to your question is no or the answer to my question is no i woke up this morning at 5 a.m after going to bed around 12 30 or 1 a.m with the baby Okay, granted, my husband, he's here. And if I need to wake him up, cause you know, I fed him on both breasts for 30 minutes and he's still hungry. I can wake hubby up and be like, hubby, can you please go get me a bottle? And he'll go make a bottle, okay? I usually don't wake him up in the middle of the night though because the baby feeds really well at night, especially. And um, I don't have to, all right? So usually if that happens, it's like early morning, five, six o'clock. The kids get up. I'm dealing with the kids now it's okay you know hubby gets up he kind of helps out a little bit you know he's straightening up the living room a little bit and I'm dealing with the kids for breakfast and stuff like that but see do you see how already the, the morning has started off regular I don't know why I feel like today was a direct jab at me you know what I mean like there's been days where hubby and me are completely in sync like yes i didn't even have to ask you to clean that i didn't even have to ask you to do that for the kids do you guys go through that with your husbands now as women i understand we are like by default the person that does everything you know what i mean <laughs> we're the person that makes you okay puppy we're the person that makes breakfast by default drives the kids everywhere by default you know Kisses every boo-boo by default. You, know, you get that, you have that person and sometimes you guys are in sync and you're like, they just handled that for me. Like, oh, wonderful. And my husband's that person. Sometimes he can do that and I don't have to ask him to do anything. He just automatically knows what I expect or what I want or what I like and then he does it or what needs to be done. Okay. But today, I feel like we were completely out of sync. We, like, he didn't get anything that I needed him to do. And it's like, I had already told him, like, physically spoke the words, like, all I want to do on Mother's Day is relax. All I want to do is relax. Say it with me, y'all. Relax, okay? I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. I don't want to kiss every boo-boo. I don't want to, I don't want to do that for one <laughs> For one, one day, just one damn day. Basically, long story short, y'all, today I didn't get the help that I thought I was going to get. And the kids were not behaving. Now, <laughs> it's just my luck that on Mother's Day, the one day that I really, really hope for peace and love in the house, all the kids have gone to shit, okay? Like, everybody's having problems every five minutes. People are fighting left and right. People ha are having needs more often than they're, ha you know, they're having needs. And it was just crazy. So I'm already stressed. I didn't get the break that I wanted to get. Then hubby comes to me and he's like, well, baby, I want to go basically with his cousin somewhere. But wait, it's Mother's Day. Like, why are you trying to leave me on Mother's Day? Like, why, what would process your brain to make you think it's okay to leave my presence on Mother's Day? That means that not only can I not refer certain kids to you, like, hey, go tell dad about that or go tell your stepdad about that. Like, I have to deal with everything by myself when today is the day that I said I didn't want to deal with anything at all hit a like or comment below if this happened to you or has happened to you at all in your mom mom past um or present completely fucking missed the pop the point of the day 
And I'm like, I, like, I know right now I'm not getting a major break, but it's still very helpful for you to be here. I'm already aggravated, but at this point, I'm truly pissed off. And let's be for real. Can we be for real for a minute, ladies? Like, or do we have to pretend for you to? Or, 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 or what? Like, can we, can we be real with each other right now? Okay. We all have, um, or have had in the past at some point, a friend like our, our our man has a friend or a relative that is a complete hoe a man hoe yeah i said it so what okay it's the truth and that man hoe doesn't his sole purpose in life is to get your man to do things outside of his character my husband is married clearly his best family member is not married and he has a girlfriend but he actively cheats on this girlfriend the whole city knows it everybody who knows him knows that he's a habitual cheater and that's just what he does now it's like a full-time job for him okay that's the nigga i don't want him with you know what i mean because that's the nigga's gonna be like you know what you need you need a new bitch you need to come over here to this club and talk to this girl because i'm talking to her friend let's stop acting like these niggas don't be doing that because that's what that nigga would do because he's jealous of our love and our relationship and what we have because even though we i got a lot of kids i had a lot of kids before i had two kids with him it's still a jealousy factor. People think that my life is not something they get. People people talk sh all this shit about me on a daily basis and try to put me down. When really they don't know that I get hated on in real life too. <laughs> it's like, you know, people hate my lifestyle. They hate on my lifestyle. Like his family member probably wishes he could find a down to earth chick like myself. You know, unfortunately for him, he hasn't found that yet. Look y'all. I can go on and on. And fucking little fake ass friends come around acting like they my bros. I seen y'all little group text where y'all all like to brag about your hoes.